the number one fact in all of military history, a connery. Welcome to Hilarious Helmet History, the show where today's cultural historical misconceptions are even sillier than my helmet. And yes, I know I'm not wearing a helmet, I, it's a hat, I know, I know. This episode is about history's most famous military tip. Never invade Russia in winter. Made famous by those two land grabbers, and only one of those guys is associated with headgear that doesn't make a guy look like a big penis. So, say la vie. Napoleon and Hitler invaded Russia because they wanted to catch them all, and by um, I mean countries. Oh god. They'd both conquered or scared most of Europe by 1812 and 1941, respectively. In both those years, Britain had too many boats to be invaded, so Adolf and the Napster both settled for attacking Earth's meat locker. And they failed. Hard. Napoleon's failure was so epic, humanity invented infographics just to capture it. And you were told this narrative. The greatest general of modern times, and a Nazi cosplaying as him, both ruined themselves by forgetting that Russia gets cold. But here's the truth. Historically, you're not stupid if you invade Russia in the winter. You're only stupid if you invade Russia without good planning, without a way through mud, and without checking the political climate. It's even bull to say Napoleon and Hitler invaded Russia in winter. Man, they started their attacks in late June, and the attacks failed because of bad planning. In Napoleon's case, he got rope doped He planned to beat Russia by winning battle after battle. Uh, he also planned to feed his troops by letting them take food from the locals as they moved from place to place. But Russia used a Fabian strategy against Napoleon. Uh, it's named after this ancient Roman. It's a strategy where you retreat forever and destroy your own resources to wear out a stronger enemy. You avoid actually fighting them as long as possible. And Napoleon fell for that over and over again, even though it's the oldest trick in the whatever, whatever Europe had before books. Uh, scrolls? Erotic statues? I don't read. By the time Napoleon got a chance to battle the Russians, he'd chased them 500 miles into their territory, with his troops starving the whole way. And then Napoleon botched the battle. He lost way too many troops, way too far from home, and he let the Russians keep retreating and retreating. When Napoleon planned to go even further from home and seize Moscow, the Russians burned it to the ground before he got there. And then they swore to keep fighting, which left Napoleon homeless in the heart of Russia without the right horseshoes to get his horse-based army back to France. And the story of Napoleon's defeat usually focuses on his wintry hell march home. A lot of white paint. But the Russians put Napoleon's troops through hell marches from day one. As Napoleon's own officers told him, he'd lost half his troops to death, starvation, and disease before the end of July, after one month of summer campaigning. Because congratulations, Napoleon, you played yourself. Although I'd peg yourself playing at a, about a one on the meme scale, it's fine. Hitler's stupidity maxes the scale out because Hitler made peace with Russia two years earlier, so he didn't really have to invade them. Hitler also planned to beat Russia super fast, somehow, so he decided the German army could march into Russia without coats, warm boots, or snow tires. They weren't ready to visit Minnesota, much less beat Stalin in an away game. Hitler also kept changing his invasion plan impulsively getting troops killed who didn't need to be killed, and prolonging the campaign by months. And despite the advantages of another 120 years of technology, Hitler had just as much trouble with Russia's mud season as Napoleon did. Yeah, Russia has a mud season. Fun place. You don't know about it because you've never tried to conquer Europe or watch the Russian Weather Channel, but Rasputitsa happens in Russia twice a year, in spring and autumn. It turns Russia's roads into muck, and Russia's land into impassable gunk. That's why both Napoleon and Hitler invaded Russia in June. June is between Rasputitsas. But both megalomaniacs were dumb enough to still be rushing around in the autumn mud. They all died. And Napoleon was just kind of stuck. You know, his highest tech was wagons and horses. He still shouldn't have made that mistake, but once you make that mistake, whereas Hitler lived in the era of light, quick, treaded vehicles. Those do well in mud. Those don't wear out unless you run out of gas. Those make invading during Rasputitsa kind of sort of possible. And Hitler didn't send those to Russia. He sent jeeps and super heavy tanks and stuff. His advance on Moscow got stuck. And Germany didn't roll out a vehicle built for Russian mud till after their invasion failed. You could not have played yourself harder, Hitler. You lost because you constantly shot yourself in the jackbooted foot. 
not because of winter. And hey, Hitler, here's some more to suck on. You and Napoleon are just about the only total failures when it comes to invading Russia. Tons of leaders conquered Russia. The conquering season is year round, and they succeeded by invading when Russia wasn't politically united. Like I said, Napoleon attacked a Russia willing to literally light itself on fire. Hitler attacked a psychotically motherland-loving Soviet Union. The commies made last stand after last stand, most famously at Stalingrad, with zero fear of casualties. But World War I's Germans knocked out Russia easily by attacking right after the Russian Revolution. 1918 Russia was such a mess it disbanded its army in the middle of getting invaded. The King of Poland invaded Russia in 1610, and his small army conquered Moscow and a bunch of other cities because Russians were fighting over whether their king was actually a team of Catholic imposters called the False Dimitris. Look it up, it's amazing. History rules. The Mongols conquered Russia in the 1230s. They had an easy time of it because Russia's princes were civil warring, and the Mongols conquered Russia in winter, despite being 700 years behind Hitler in coat tech. Because Russia's as invadable as any other large place. You just have to be smart enough to Smart, okay, smart enough to, okay, I gotta, I need to stop. I need to, I need to, this hat is very heavy. Um, can I, can I get the helmet after all? Like the, the germ, like the penis helmet. Can I just get the penis helmet? Sure, can you say that in the camera? Say, what do I say? Uh, the, the thing you just said. G give me the penis helmet. One more time? Give me the penis helmet. One more time? Give me the penis helmet. One more time. Give me, Oh, I see what's going on. Hey, thank you for watching. Do the YouTube things in the comments. Let us know why is this hat? Like what, why? What could be, this is the least weird French hat I could find from the 1800s, the least weird. It's not even, like this almost fell off when I got coffee. How'd you ride a horse with it?